So E equals MC squared. Your web elements can create a gravitational pull when good content is combined with focused momentum. That is the theory of inbound marketing gravity. Once you have the E, the elements in place, and you've taken care of the C, the compelling content, the next step is the M, which is the momentum. You need to create momentum with your promotional activities. And that is what we are going to talk about today. But before I discuss those specific activities, I would like to introduce you to the flywheel concept. For those of you who have read Good to Great, Good to Great by Jim Collins, this is more of a reintroduction to the concept, but take a look. This is a flywheel. It weighs about 5,000 pounds. Pushing with great effort, you can get the flywheel to inch forward, but only a little bit at a time. But you keep pushing and pushing and putting a lot of effort in, and the flywheel begins to move a bit faster. You keep pushing in a constant, consistent direction, and then at some point, boom, you're going to get a breakthrough. The momentum of the thing kicks in your favor. The huge heavy disc flies forward with almost unstoppable momentum. Was it that one push that caused the thing to move so fast? What about the fifth? Maybe it was the hundredth. No, it was all of them added together, an overall accumulation of effort applied in a consistent direction. So I want to thank Jimmy Zimmerman for his animation of Jim Collins' uh, flywheel concept. This concept is truly the perfect uh, illustration of how your inbound marketing activities are going to build and build and build and create momentum online when you use that formula, when you use the E equals MC squared formula. Now think about the elements of your success, of your web presence, um, your, your website, your blog, and your social media profile. So those were the three elements that we talked about. And think about every piece of content that you will create. And hopefully I have convinced you that you need to have a lot of content. If I haven't, go back to that video on content and, and, and watch it all over again. Independently, the elements plus the content are pretty powerful, right? I mean, it's more powerful than what a lot of small business owners have today. But um, the real power comes when those two are combined synergistically with a dynamic promotions strategy. When it's combined with a promotion strategy, that's when they start to build momentum and that is when the sum of the parts is truly greater than the whole. So you're leveraging in this scenario search engines to push your content out. Uh, people are, are People are have your content and they're sharing it within their social networks. The information starts to spread and there is this buildup and then there's this overall accumulation of effort applied in a consistent direction. Boom! That is the breakthrough. That is momentum. That's the flywheel concept that Jim Collins was trying to create. We want to start to get that to work for you. Um, and if you keep pushing, that is exactly what's going to happen. Your activities and your efforts are going to start to compound on top of themselves and they're going to yield exponential re results when they do. So let's talk about those promotional activities. Uh, what are those pushes that you need to make on the flywheel? Uh, what type of promotional activities are involved with inbound marketing? There are a lot of them, um, but if we were to take them and distill them down, um, the three major promotional activities for inbound marketing are search engine optimization, first and foremost, uh, getting it right with the search engines. Um, the second is social media networking and, um, ha and then also having what I call conversations on the web. Search engine, search engine optimization, if I can say the word, social media networking and having conversations on the web. Uh, these three promotional activities are by far the most effective and they're also the least expensive, which is always a good thing. Um, in the future, I plan to create some more resources that dive deeper into each one of them. But in this video, I just want to quickly highlight how you will use each one of them. So first, search engine optimization. 
So the elephant in the room is first off search engine optimization. The inbound marketing way to search engine optimization is about connecting search engine users in a very natural and organic way. Um, and the good news is that if you've created your elements in your content, the first part of the equation, and the way that we've discussed in the previous videos, then you've already done about 80%, 90% of your search engine work. Already done. Isn't that good news? Even, if, even though you can't um, fully understand or predict how uh, search engines uh, and their rankings are created, you can uh, do a few things. You can add keywords, you can add backlinks. There are plenty of things that you can do to optimize um, your content and to increase your chances of being ranked higher than you are today, being ranked higher than your competition, and getting to the front of the search engine page. Um, pages or search engine results. And I can't wait to explore this area in more detail with you, um, but I will definitely, for now, include links to some blog articles that I've written about it in the resources section below this video. So the second promotional activity that is involved with inbound marketing is social media networking. In section one, way back all those videos ago, we, we talked about how consumers have come full circle and they're now back to relying on word of mouth from their close-knit community of friends, which are based off of uh, these networking groups. Uh, social media platforms, they created the new groups that are based off of interests. Uh, they're based off of your target's lifestyles. Uh, these are local audiences. They're globally based, but they're local around their interest. And you're going to start to focus on these global audiences as a part of your inbound marketing efforts. Um, what you're going to do essentially is infiltrate those networks like a spy. Okay, you're going to infiltrate through submersion, which is something we also talked about. And we're going to learn about um, how your prospects are using those networks and then once we learn that we're going to adapt and essentially uh, become one of them. The final promotional activity that is a part of inbound marketing is what I call conversing online. Conversing, don't you love that? There are millions of voices online and this internet it's the largest conversation ever. Everyone is talking and everybody has something important to say. Conversing online is about first listening because you've got two ears and one mouth for a reason. And what you're going to be listening for is what's being said about your company, and your products and your services. But you're also going to be listening for what's being said about your competition. That's always good to know. And you'll also be listening simply to learn what your targets are talking about and get a feel for um, what their conversation looks like. The second part of conversing is about joining the conversation. Um, if people are talking about your products, whether it's good or bad, uh, then respond. You know, there's no reason why you can't respond to a good review, nor is there a reason why you can't respond to a not so good re review. Um, share your thoughts, share your advice at every single opportunity, whether it's on Twitter, on Facebook, within LinkedIn groups, commenting on other blogs, commenting on forums, these are all uh, natural and very effective ways of showing your involvement, showing um, that you really care about them and the issues that they care about. It's also a way of gaining credibility and, of course, gaining exposure. Every conversation uh, that you have, I love uh, to think about it like this, it's like leaving a bread crumb. It's like Hansel and Gretel and you're leaving breadcrumbs that lead back to your website. Leave breadcrumbs in the right places and eventually your targets will follow the trail. So search engine optimization, social media networking, and having conversations online. Those are the three major inbound marketing promotional activities that will help you build focused momentum. That flywheel is a very important illustration to keep in mind as you move forward. So is a merry-go-round, a merry-go-round. Every, every time I think about a merry-go-round, I think about this concept, especially when you get started. When you get started with a merry-go-round, it really seems like an uphill battle. The first few pushes are always the toughest. And sometimes it can kind of feel like nothing is happening, it's not budging, and you're not getting the result that you want right away. 
But if you keep on pushing, what happens is that every subsequent push takes advantage of the momentum that was built up in the preceding pushes and eventually the breakthrough comes through. Each push compounds on the previous push and you get there. And when the breakthrough comes through, it will come through in a major way.